solve log base a of x plus log base a of x minus 2 equals log base a of x plus 4. Solution. So in this problem, we have three logarithms. So the natural thing to do is to try to combine them. So on the right hand side, we have a single log. And over here, we have two logs. We can easily combine these using something called the product rule. The product rule says if you have the log of say u plus the log of v, this is equal to the log of the product. So u times v. So here, this is our u and this is our v. We basically just have the log base a of u times v. So it's x times x minus 2. And on the right hand side, we simply have the log base a of x plus 4. Now we need to get rid of the log. So what we can do now is we can exponentiate. Recall if you have b to the log base b of x, that's just equal to x because the bases are the same. Here the base is a, so we'll exponentiate by putting an a here and putting an a here. And just like they cancel in the formula, they will cancel in our problem. So we have x, parentheses x minus 2 and that's equal to x plus 4. Good stuff. Okay we have to solve this so let's go ahead and distribute the x. x times x is x squared. x times negative 2 is negative 2x and this is equal to x plus 4. This is a quadratic equation. Whenever you have a quadratic equation, you should try to set it equal to zero and solve. So we'll subtract x, subtract four, subtract x, subtract four. Boom, boom. So we end up with x squared minus, so let's see, minus two x minus x is minus three x, and then minus four, and that's equal to zero. Let's attempt to factor this. Um, I just know that usually when we have problems like this, they usually factor. It's very rare that you have a problem like this that doesn't factor. It happens, but it's rare. So we have an x here, and we have an x here. We need to multiply to 4 and add to negative 3. So 4 and 1 multiply to 4, and if we make the 4 negative and the 1 positive, it'll work out. Let's double check x times x is x squared. If you do the inside, you get x. If you do the outside, you get negative 4x. When you add the inside and the outside, you get the middle term. You see negative 4x plus x is negative 3x. And 1 times negative 4 is negative 4. So we set each piece equal to 0. And as you can see, we get two possible answers, negative 1 and 4. Whenever you have an equation with more than one log, it's really, really important to check your answers. In this case, negative 1 cannot be an answer because right away we see if we were to plug it back in, we would get the log base a of negative 1. And that's a big no because you cannot take the log of a negative number. The domain of the logarithm consists of positive numbers only. So the last thing we have to check is the number 4. I don't know if it's going to work because I have not done this problem, so let's go ahead and try it. So let's put a 4 everywhere in, we see an x, and it's important that you use the original equation when you're checking. Then here we have log base a, 4 minus 2 is going to give us 2, and this should be equal to log of 4 plus 4 is 8, right, because x is 4. And here we use the product rule, log base a. 4 times 2 is 8, and that's equal to log base a of 8. So everything looks okay. So the answer to this equation is x equals 4.